Hey guys, so this is my three and a half year dreadlock update. I just posted one recently, but for like three years and three and a half months, something like that. And I had a couple questions that people have asked that I've, I wanted to answer in this video, so I'll do that. But uh, I just wanted to say hey and check in with you all. And I had a couple questions that people have asked that I've, I wanted to answer in this video, so I'll do that. I'll also probably put some of the different styles I've been trying. I haven't been doing a ton in the past like month and a half, but there's a few. Uh, right now my hair is like in braids, and then I'm going to try different braid outs. They have between three and like eight locks in each braid. I want to see what size I like the best and like how I like the like waves and what styles are going to look good. So I'm just playing around right now. That's why my hair is like all up. But I've had it in. This one's coming out already, but I put them in yesterday afternoon, and then I had like a bandana on all day yesterday, and now I am just hanging out in the morning. But yeah, so three and a half years. If you're not subscribed to this channel, I primarily make art videos, but I do make dreadlock videos um, maybe once every six months is kind of what I'm looking at doing, and I also do like language and travel and culture videos, but art, which my art is inspired by different cultures and other such things. So be sure to subscribe to see more of that, and I will answer some of the questions you guys have asked, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, so um, Christina asked, and if I were to start them to, again, I would probably do different parts. Uh, just I would go to someone who knows more about dreadlocks, but where I'm at, that's not going to happen. And I, and I got them done when I was in Laramie, Wyoming, so I went to Cheyenne. She was the closest person, and I could have gone to Denver, but I didn't. But that the only thing I would change probably is the parting. Uh, she asked if I would make them thicker or thinner. I wouldn't. Um, it may be more consistent so they're all the same thickness. But I also don't really want that like super maintained style. I like it, but I, I it's not. I think that like the way my locks are fits me and my personality really well. So I like them just the way they are. Christina's also asked several other questions about like like how many locks to make, how many. Like how textures are going to work out. And I think it just depends on like each individual person's hair. Like though we kind of have the similar hair texture, it's hard to tell. Because like I have parts that are afro-like and I have parts that are not. And it's like different parts of my head do different things. And I think every single locks are, every single person's locks are so individual that it's really, really, really hard to say like this is the way it should be. This isn't like I don't know. Um, and um, she also asked how many locks I had. Uh, so first of all, I don't know how many locks I have. I have never counted. I think there's this really interesting symbolism in, and just, you know, my hair's like, I just put it up because I'm doing like a twist out thing, braid out thing, and I, I, it's up, whatever. She'd asked before how many locks I have, and I've never ca counted them. Um, I'm not opposed to the idea of counting them. I don't really believe in like the bad luck thing, but I have this like thing with like thresholds and the idea of like once you go into something or past something, you can't go back. And I'll, I need to post my video on why I love airports and thresholds. So I will get that up there soon if it's not already up. But uh, I don't, I have no desire to count. And once I count, I can't ever go back. So unless I have a good reason to know, I don't plan to count. Um, so I don't know how many I have. But yeah, so that's my answer to those three questions. Uh, if I could restart on what would I do different and would I do more or less locks? Uh, or would I do the parts differently? I think the parts I would do differently. I just have them like, like they're the front part I really like, but then you get about like past the crown and it just like changes. So it's not really a pattern anymore. It's just kind of like a little, uh, not as cool as I want them to be, but I still love them. They're still my locks and I'm still like, I'm, I'm good. Two more questions you guys asked was if my hair is locked all the way through and if I wear lock tubes or like lock socks, hair socks on. Um, so my hair in most places is locked most of the way through. There's a few that I have like, um, you know, if you were to split locks where you do inner, uh, latch hooking, there's a few of those places that like I still have the little like separations from that. Also, there's a couple places that like, like tiny, tiny sections that are just not locked at all. And they're really hard to find. Like I only find them once every six months. I'm like, oh, weird. But uh, the new growth all except for like one lock, I think, that I've, I've only found one that locks all the way. But a lot of my new growth goes between like a half inch and three inches of unlocked space. Uh, I don't really do much. I'm kind of like semi freeforming, I guess, is what I would call it. I've heard there's, there's no such thing as semi freeforming, you're either freeforming or you're not. Uh, I twist or do something every few months, usually between like six and nine for most of it. I think most of them are locked all the way through. Uh, there's budding, like the budding happens at the top, and then like the ends are mostly budded. 
uh, but it's pretty consistent throughout, which is really exciting. Like I love, I love that consistency now. And do I wear lock socks? Yes, I do. I love them actually. I wear them a lot as headbands. And since we've moved to the new house, I haven't worn them as much because they're like packed and I haven't unpacked like that specific box because I only like wear the same couple and I've just been wearing it down and like uh, I've been doing way more tying it and so when I tie it I don't wear a headband as much so yes I do but not lately as much in addition to uh, creative expressions expressions by Elizabeth wild things also asked me uh, he's actually super cool too he does lots of videos around his house they're just kind of for him but they're really interesting to watch and he's having uh, fun with it but he asked if how do I have any specific plans for like how long I plan to grow them or how thick and my answer to that is no I plan to grow them until it I don't like them anymore or until my neck starts to be bothered by the length and I think that cutting them will help I think there's a point with hair where it's just like too long and so when I get to that point I'll probably cut them but I plan to grow them for years so for time length I have no plans and uh, measurement length I guess just I don't have any set plans yet and thickness, I whatever happens, and I don't know how to control that. So if you have any ideas for how to control it, that's actually a cool uh, question. Thanks, guys. So thank you guys so much for asking questions. If you have more, uh, put them below. Also, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe. Like I said, I primarily make art videos at least once a week, and I do other videos inspired by culture and travel and some of uh, my personal life, some vlogging, especially during Veda and Vlogmas. I'm also working on a really fun project about traveling in my own city. So if you guys have ideas or if you want to learn about like how to travel in your city, uh, let me know, ask questions below, and I'll keep posting more on that as well. So see you guys.